Welcome to Getting Started Recording with Reaper. In this video, we will focus on getting you set up for the first time. For this series, we'll be using a program called Reaper, but there are many other options you could choose from on the market. Throughout this video, you will learn the basic tools needed to get started, how to configure Reaper to communicate with your audio interface, and how to configure your project settings. The most basic tools you'll need for recording are a digital audio workstation, or DAW, like Reaper, and you can download a trial version of this at reaper.fm. You'll also need an audio interface. This will send audio to your computer and receives back audio that you'll send to your speakers or headphones. For this video, we'll be using a PreSonus AudioBox USB, which you can get for about a hundred bucks. But there are many other options available for you to use. Before opening Reaper, make sure to install your audio interface according to the manufacturer's instructions and have it connected to your computer. And finally, depending on what you're recording, you may also need a microphone and a way to listen to your music. Now that your audio interface is installed, let's open up Reaper. To get Reaper communicating with our audio interface, we'll go to Options, and then scroll down until you see Preferences, or you could use Control-P for the shortcut. Under the Preferences menu, you'll want to go to Audio, and then Device. And then the first setting we want to look at is the Audio System. Set this to Ausio. Ausio is a low latency protocol, which basically means there will be no perceivable delay between when you play a note and when you hear it. Next, let's select the specific Ausio driver. In this instance, we're using a PreSonus AudioBox USB, so I have selected the AudioBox Ausio driver. Now, let's configure the inputs and outputs. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure that your inputs are enabled. Underneath that, we'll set the range for the inputs and outputs. First will be the lowest number input, and last will be the highest number output. I'm using a two input, two output device, so first and last will be one and two on both of these. Once finished, go ahead and click OK. Finally, let's look at a couple of key project level settings. These are settings that only affect the project you're working on. To get to these, go to the File menu, and then scroll down until you see Project Settings. The first setting we want to look at is called the Sample Rate. Sample Rate is how many times per second the sound is sampled, which is part of the process of translating analog sounds to digital. The sound wave is converted into data through a series of samples. If you are just starting out, I recommend setting this to 44100 or 44.1 kilohertz. This is the standard sample rate for CDs. As you get more advanced, you'll discover reasons for why you may want to set this higher. Next, on the Media tab, we want to set the wave bit depth. Bit depth or bit rate is the number of digital bits available to represent the sound in digital form. We'll set this to 24 bit. When finished, go ahead and click OK. Let's review what we've learned. The basic tools for recording are a digital audio workstation like Reaper, an audio interface, headphones or speakers, and a microphone. Under Audio Device Settings, we configured the audio interface to communicate with Reaper. And finally, under File, Project Settings, we configured project level settings such as sample rate and bit depth. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you'd like to know when more content like this is released, subscribe and ring the bell.